Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about hyaluronic acid and I'm going to give you a tip that may revolutionise how hyaluronic acid works on your skin. I know I went all high pitched but I love this tip so much. A lot of the times whenever I talk about hyaluronic acid on my Instagram page, I'm very much active over there if you want to come and follow me. But anytime I mention it on there, I always get lots of messages from people saying that they don't really like hyaluronic acid, that they find that it dries out their skin a little bit more. And I always tell them to do this tip and the amount of messages that people send back going, thank you so much. So I'm going to teach you. First of all, let's talk about hyaluronic acid really briefly. I'm sure you've probably heard about it loads and you probably know everything about it. But for those who aren't sure what hyaluronic acid is and if it's something that they want to incorporate into their skincare routine, let me briefly explain what it is. Now, hyaluronic acid, it sounds like a bit scary. You know that word acid, you think, oh my God, is it going to strip my skin? Is it going to exfoliate? No. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. And what that means is that it draws moisture from its surroundings. And it can hold a thousand times its weight in water as well. We can naturally produce hyaluronic acid, but as we age, like so many other things, those levels start to decrease. And so it's important that we put the hyaluronic back onto our skin. Hyaluronic acid can hydrate the skin and it can also help plump out fine lines and wrinkles as well. And I find that any time that my skin is dehydrated, the fine lines and wrinkles are a little bit more obvious. And my skin just doesn't have that glow. So every single day I will use a hyaluronic acid in my skincare routine, morning and evening. It's just second nature now. I've recently just finished a bottle of stuff that I'm going to tell you about at the end. Um, and I've started a new bottle of it as well. So I mentioned about hyaluronic acid and how it draws moisture from its surroundings. Now imagine if the air around it, the air that, of the room that you're in is drier than what's in your skin, the hyaluronic acid is going to pull moisture out of your skin and then it's going to evaporate. So you're gonna have withered skin. Now, if you live in a more humid place, you apply hyaluronic acid, moisture is in the air and the hyaluronic acid is gonna pull the moisture from the air into your skin. Hands up who applies their hyaluronic acid to dry skin? I used to. Now I don't and the change is immense. I don't know about you, if you've applied it to dry skin, it can leave your skin kind of feeling tight and that could be because it's drawn the moisture out of your skin. So what I like to do is after I've cleansed my skin, I make sure to leave my skin wet or moist and then I'll apply the hyaluronic acid. Now I wash my face in the bathroom and I usually do the rest of my skincare in the bedroom. So this is a very extra bougie step. You don't have to do this, okay? I just use this because I have it. So I have the Aven Thermal Water. It's just a spray, there are loads of brands that do this. And so if by the time I come into the bedroom, my skin is dry and I'm about to apply my hyaluronic acid, I give my skin a quick spritz of this and then I'll apply the hyaluronic acid. The one that I'm using at the moment is by far one of the best that I've ever tried. It's the Pestle and Mortar What's it called? Pure Hyaluronic Serum. I would say that this is probably the fifth or sixth bottle of this that I've used. It is just so good. So I'll apply this, spritz it on, and then I'll apply a pipette worth of this on the top. Now, if I'm feeling extra bougie, even extra bougie, I'll apply another layer of this just to lock it in. <laughs> so if the hyaluronic acid has any notions of pulling the moisture out of my skin, no, I'm putting more moisture on the top so it's going to draw that into the skin. Now, what I like about this hyaluronic serum is that it has different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. So you're going to have larger molecules and smaller molecules. The larger molecules are going to sit on top of the skin and they're going to help draw the moisture in. The smaller molecules are going to go deeper into the skin and they're going to plump from within. So you're going to have plump, juicy, hydrated skin from top to bottom. Now also when it comes to hyaluronic acid, it's important to lock it in. So you have to either lock it in with the moisturizer, with the facial oil, because otherwise you still might run the risk of it evaporating off your skin and drawing the moisture out. So yes, lock it in. There are so many different hyaluronic acids that are on the market at the moment. I'm loving, as I said, the Pestle & Mortar one, CeraVe do a really good one as well. Image Skincare does an amazing one too that has the different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. But no matter what one I'm using, the method is still the same. That I apply to damp or moist skin, apply the hyaluronic acid, Sometimes I'll give it a spritz over the top and then I always make sure to lock it in with my moisturizer or with another serum or with your facial cream or with your SPF. So if you've been using hyaluronic acid and if you don't think that you've been getting the results that you want, give this method a go and then let me know and see how you get on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.